You grew up, uh, I don't know if you were always comfortable with death, but I knew that you lived near a cemetery. Is that right? You yeah, lived, a or pet you lived cemetery. A oh, a pet cemetery. A pet cemetery, yeah. I moved... What's it like living next to a pet cemetery? It's really fun. It's really... Um... <laughs> Whee! It Yay! Yeah, you know. What are you doing right now? Yeah. Let's play fetch. You throw a ball, nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess he fell in. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. It was funny, actually, because I moved to England when I was a teenager, and then um, my American friends would come and visit me, and they'd expect some kind of quaint Englishness, and I was like, guys, guess what I have? And we'd go, and there was this pet cemetery that was next to our house. It was kind of this old house, and people in England are really passionate about their pets, and they're passionate everywhere, you know, but they had this bona fide pet cemetery that looked everything like a normal cemetery, except the names on it were like Fluffy and Bobo and... They kind of sounded porn names, like like Fluffer, <laughs> even. Um, and so you had this like really Bobo's really not a setting. porn name. <laughs> In England. In England, <laughs> it's a porn name. Bobo meets Fluffy. Yeah. And so the real real monuments, real like real monuments that a human oh, would have, except it yeah. has their silly. Uh, it had names. like a portrait of of Bobo and Fluff Fluff and 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 you know. Big Ron. I don't know. Now you're, <laughs> now now you're trying to make them sound like porn names. <laughs> that was my cat, Ron Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. What? what uh, that's not so weird. Yeah. I just love that you tell your teenage friends, have I got something for you? <laughs> la, 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 pet cemetery. I think they think you're going to bust yeah. out a bong or something yeah. amazing is going to happen. Yeah. No, we had this funny little gazebo, though, too, and we used to practice rolling splits with green tea. Oh, it didn't smoke. I'm like, Pardon smoking, me? it just makes you weird. It's kind of a convoluted story, but we used to no, practice No, 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 let's pursue this. Splits. You would practice... <laughs> Smoking yeah. uh, marijuana, but you would use green tea. We didn't want to waste it because when you're a teenager, you don't have that much money. And if you wanted to smoke, you were like, all right, I don't know how to roll. So-and-so, my sister kind of told me, but I don't really remember. So I'm going to practice with a tea leaf or a bunch of tea leaves. One won't get you far. Um, and so we'd sit in this little gazebo and like make these pretend splits. And then we thought, we might as well just see what happens when you smoke PG tips. So you get really caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, kids! <laughs> so don't I actually, get caffeinated. Yeah. So that's what happens? Yeah. I'm like a t tea pusher. I don't push drugs on people. <laughs> but you get like an mmm, Earl Grey mon, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you shoot some milk into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're closing this down right now.